All right, the best I can tell, I've got this very close. And the beauty of this all being solid wood is I can massage this a little bit. I'm happy with the way that looks. And I think once I glue it up, I mean, I, when I can pull it together with just finger pressure, like so, that's going to be a pretty good joint. All right, I got my shelf made for the bottom. What I want to do is cut my sides to rough length, check on my angle to make sure it's uh, Correct. I can use my I can use my back for that as long as if it's parallel with this, I'm in good shape. So let me get the table saw. Set. I took my angle, I took my bevel gauge and used the use this to set it, and then I'll use my bevel gauge. I use this to set my bevel gauge. I'll use my bevel gauge to set the saw. So let me get that set up here. Right, the angle looks good. I've, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Everything is flush and tight on both sides. I've got it, uh, I've got it flushed up to this edge, so you can see that how much I have to play with here, about three eighths of an inch. What I want to do next is cut this rabbit in the bottom here, and um, I'm going to make a mark here where I want to stop. After looking at this, I'm just going to run this all the way through and I'll plug these ends uh, with some light colored wood. Uh, I've got some scrap pieces I can use. Make some square or re rectangular blocks and just plug those in. It'll be a lot easier than, uh, than doing it the other way and it'll be easier to fit it as well. I decided to tape this joint together temporarily. Uh, that's probably the way it's going to go together anyway. Uh, but that gives me the, the best way to hold that top together and then try and figure out what the cut length is for this for the uh, for the sides here. I already had one of these drops from uh, one of my sides here that was long. And since these rabbits are the same, I'm going to use this as my marking gauge. Just bring that in here. Try and keep it as square as possible. And make a line. Slide it down here and do the same thing. I think what I'll do, I'll end up doing is keeping the line just to be safe and I can always uh, sneak up on it I guess. So back to the table saw and I had to reset the bevel because I had to cut this rabbit and I, that's one thing that I'll let you know. You should have your shelf ready to go at the same time so that you can cut these rabbits all at once. Not have to reset up like I'm doing here. All right, I got two dogs on my bench here. Like this. So I'm able to push the bottom into the, or the back into the bottom. And then I can push the side into those two and keep it registered here. And I can see that I'm about a sixteenth inch long here. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit more off of this. I can do that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna probably make two or three cuts. I'm just gonna gradually sneak up on this cut. Um, both sides are the same length. So we should have we should have the same reveal here. Which we do. Yeah. I 
That's nice. All right, I ended up going about two full turns on that micro adjuster on my dubby sled there. I'll put this back in place and see how things look. Message from my daughter. She had to get her tire fixed. It cost twenty-two fifty. I thought I told her it cost about thirty bucks, and I was a little little high. Just a little bit open here. Just a skosh. I think I'll have to give it a one more little nibble off of the end here. Let's see what I'm looking at here. This is open out here. Right, I got a tiny gap at the top. I'll spin this around and show that to you, which tells me that the sides are just a hair too long. Uh, the gap, the uh, the miter gap up here on top, that's that's good. So if I shorten the legs, it's going to come down. It's going to drop a little bit, um, and I think that that's going to be all right. So I'm guessing that's about a thirty-second of an inch, and then. Down here, you can see I've got a gap as well, but I can pull that together with just hand pressure, like so, and that takes care of that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I just take a smidge off these, I should be able to close everything up. Well, it's not perfect. I got a little gap here and there, but it's it's going to be good enough. I don't want to mess with it anymore. You get into one of these deals where you start shaving here and shaving there, and before you know it, uh, you've lost everything.